Welcome to the technical studies. In this video, I will explain the step-by-step -step guide for piping hydrostatic test. Performing a piping hydro test, hydrostatic test, is a critical process used to verify the integrity, strength, and leak tightness of piping systems after fabrication or before commissioning. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to carrying it out safely and correctly. Prepare for the test. Review documents. P and ID, piping and instrumentation diagram. Isometric drawings. Test pressure calculations, typically 1.5 into design pressure, as per ASME B31.3, B31.1, etc. Test boundaries and test pack documents. Ensure completion. All welds are completed and inspected, RT, UT, etc. Flanges gaskets installed. Supports restraints in place. Valves installed and opened are closed as required. Temporary blinds and test caps fitted where need. Cleaning and filling. Flush the line. Clean the pipe, with air or water, to remove debris, oil, welding slag, etc. Fill with water. Use clean, potable, deaerated water if possible. Fill from the lowest point, vent air from the highest points. Use vents and drains properly. Pressurization. Use a calibrated pressure pump. Increase pressure gradually in steps, example, 25%, 50%, 75%, then 100% of test pressure. Hold at each step to check for stability. Reach test pressure. Usually test pressure is 1.5 into design pressure. Check code and client spec. Hold pressure typically for 10 to 30 minutes for visual inspection. Inspection. Check for leaks. Visually inspect all welds, joints, gaskets, and connections. No visible leakage or pressure drop is allowed. Check with pressure gauges at multiple points. Document readings. Record pressure, time, temperature and inspection findings. Depressurization and draining. Release pressure gradually. Drain water completely from the lowest point. Dry the system if needed, with air or nitrogen. Apply corrosion inhibitor if the system will be idle for some time. Post-test. Remove blinds, replace temporary connections. Restore system to operational condition. Submit test reports for approval. Safety precautions. Ensure PPE, face shields, gloves, etc. Clear test area of unnecessary personnel. Monitor for pipe movement or support failures. Never stand in front of potential failure points. If you're testing a high-pressure system or working under strict codes, example, ASME, API, PED, additional requirements may apply. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment.